Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hankster's Hot Rods Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom, where we own all of our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealership. If you're watching today's presentation on YouTube, check out our website, which is hanksters.com. It's where you can find all of our most current inventory. Our YouTube videos never come down, whether they were shot three days ago or three years ago. They stay on our channel for our subscribers to watch our content. However, when a vehicle is funded in full, it comes down off of our website, letting you know the unit has been sold and is no longer available. Hankstersgarage.com. Not only do we sell and distribute automotive parts and accessories throughout the United States, but more importantly, we install them. So, if you're watching one of our classic car presentations and you want a different wheel and tire package, or you want uh, power steering, uh, four-wheel power disc brakes, different uh, exhaust, custom exhaust system, headers, um, sniper EFI, uh, AC, you know, pretty much anything you can think of that you'd like done in your classic car to customize it or make it your own, uh, we can do prior to your vehicle leaving if you give us the time to do so. Hankstersgarage.com, check it out. Mopars, um, they are extremely desirable uh, right now and extremely hard to find. And today we have a numbers matching 1970 383 uh, Roadrunner. So uh, let's check this baby out. As I stated already, the motor is a 383 and it is the numbers matching block for the car. Um, there is no power brakes on this car. It's four wheel drum without power assist, so there is no power brake system. Uh, you do have power steering. There's your power steering reservoir, so the car is equipped with power steering. Of course, no AC. <coughs> it, is, it does have your uh, beep beep horn and it does work. And it does have a fender tag. So we will have a fender tag photo on our website so that you guys can go ahead and break it down. Let's check it out. Blue in color, black stripe, black stripes or vinyl. Um, the uh, paint condition on the car. Let's start where we normally do, which is at the uh, hood and the top of the fenders. Uh, driver quality paint job on the car. I don't know when it was painted. <clears throat> I don't know if the paint's five years old, 10 years old, uh, but it's pretty good up top here. You can see hopefully in the video, uh, top of the fenders look to be in good shape. There's no uh, clear coat fade, uh, blisters, bubbles, cracks, anything like that going on. On your uh, black hood accent, there's you know the same, no uh, issues there. And same thing with the top of the passenger side fender. It, uh, you know, very uh, similar to mirroring the driver's side, no, no paint issues to speak of. <clears throat> The front of the car, the grill area and the front bumper area look to be in pretty decent shape. Uh, the uh, grill looks good. I don't see anything uh, cracked or damaged in it. Uh, the front bumper is not brand new, but it is uh, in decent condition. You have there uh, no issues around your bumper bolts in terms of any kind of rust or anything like that. Uh, no chrome flake or peel, uh, nothing like that going on. So. <clears throat> Let's take a look down the driver's side of the car. Of course, you have your iconic Roadrunner emblem there with the uh, trail of dust running down the uh, driver's side front fender door and a little bit there on the rear quarter. Uh, wheel opening moldings on the car, chrome, look to be in good shape, also uh, installed properly. The uh, wheels and tires are in good shape. So the wheels, you know, no uh, rust on the lug nuts or the wheels themselves or any kind of pitting. Uh, uh, raised white letter BFGs on the car. <clears throat> you got a little uh, Dodge Pentastar there on the uh, side. Uh, driver's uh, fender low there. Going up top, taking a look at the glass quality and the cowl uh, condition. Uh, glass quality up front looks good. Not only is it clear, but it also, uh, you know, no chips or scratches or cracks or anything like that. Uh, cowl area looks to be nice. Once again, no paint issues um, to speak of uh, up in the cowl area. So the car does have a vinyl top on it. We're going to point out some of the pro uh, problematic areas of vinyl tops here in this presentation. One of them being above the front windshield. So. You know, when uh, old cars, bodies flex, windshields loosen up, the uh, silicone dries out, you know, you kind of get water in there sometimes. This car has no issues up there uh, in the front. <clears throat> Same thing around the drip rails, no issues there. Uh, vinyl top, all good around the drip rails. 
And while we're at the drip rails, the drip rail moldings are uh, installed correctly and uh, they're not dented or dinged up. Uh, vent window glass, door window glass, quarter window glass all have real nice clarity to them. Got the expensive uh, mirrors here on the driver door and then on the passenger door they are chrome. Uh, taking a look at the driver door, let's first look at the door fitment. Door fitment to the front fender and to the rear quarter is nice. Do a pan of the bottom of the door for you so you can see that there's no uh, paint issues going on at the bottom of the door. There's no, uh, you know, Bondo blistering, paint blistering, paint cracking. It's in good condition. we we'll pop open the driver's side door and take a look at the interior of the car, starting with the door panel. So up top here is just simply metal, painted uh, the same color blue as the car. The uh, door panel itself is in nice shape. Armrest is in decent condition. The uh, bottom of the door, again, painted the blue color. Taking a look in the center console, you can see the courtesy lights illuminate when we open up the door. Blue interior, black carpet, front and rear seat belts. Let's pop uh, the driver's side seat forward here and take a look in the rear of the car. Uh, the blue vinyl interior. Looks to be in good shape. Looks like it could quite possibly be the original seat belts in the car. It's not the original carpet. Uh, carpet looks to be newer. Floor mats are brand new. Got the Roadrunner floor mat, the big one with the uh, little dot here that goes over your high beam, low beam switch. Let's see if I can pull this big baby back or out. So there's your carpeting. Not stained, ripped, torn, discolored. Center console's in decent condition. The uh, driver's seat, you see there's no rips, no tears. Dome light illuminates when you open up the driver door. So as always, we a dash pad looks good too. As I was saying, as always, we'll take a closer look at the interior when we're actually on the test drive in the vehicle. So the driver door closes nicely to the rear quarter. The body lines are pretty good on the car. Uh, we'll give you a shot down the side here momentarily when we get to the back of the car. Uh, vinyl top on the driver's side, once again, there you go. There's no uh, bubbling or blistering underneath the vinyl. It's in nice condition. Your chrome's in nice shape where the chrome meets the rear quarter coming down off of the roof uh, where the vinyl top meets the rear quarter of the car. Plymouth logo there, of course, that is uh, vinyl. It is stuck to the uh, rear quarter. In good shape, not peeling, cracking, faded. <clears throat> Behind the rear wheel here, there's no paint issues down low. Take a close look at the uh, wheel photos on our website. Uh, rear wheel here on the driver's side, just as nice as the front one. No uh, rust on the lug nuts, center caps are in nice shape. Chrome on the uh, outer perimeter of the wheel is in nice condition. <clears throat> so the uh, driver's rear quarter, driver door, front fender, everything lines up real nice. You can see that the uh, body lines on the car are uh, nice down the side. When you, when you look down the side of the car, it's got nice body lines to it. <clears throat> Check out the clarity of that rear window. Real nice and clear. Uh, Glass is in good shape. Hat rack area, speaker shelf, whatever you want to call it. Uh, in nice condition, uh, back of the seat there in the, in the rear, rear seats back uh, where the sun beats down through the windshield, not cracked, torn, faded, dry rotted, any terminology you want to use. Uh, deck lid, so the uh, Roadrunner has a larger uh, rear quarter, so you got a nice big deck lid. Deck lid fitment to the rear quarter is good. Rear spoiler, painted black, gives the car a nice muscle car look. Black uh, spoiler matches your black Plymouth logos. A uh, rear bumper on the car does appear to be newer. 
By the way, I don't have any history on the car in terms of when it was painted, when it had been restored, uh, you know, anything like that. Any kind of uh, information we have such as that, you know, we, we disclose in our video presentations and put photos of on our website if we have it. You got uh, dual tips there, chrome coming out beneath the uh, rear bumper. Plymouth badge there in the center between the brake, brake lights, that's in good shape. Got a black stripe here that goes across the deck lid and the top, across the uh, top of the rear quarters. That's all nice and neat, not uh, peeling off or faded or cracked up. Take a look in the trunk. trunk. You do have a trunk mat, uh, no jack, no spare. Uh, trunk is in good shape. Peel that back. You see that the uh, trunk pan's in nice condition. No rust, no rot. Uh, floor, our floor mat. Trunk mat's brand new. Close that up, make sure it's closed. Passenger side of the car. Um, once again, we'll get you a shot. So when you have, uh, you know, body work down here that has a tendency on older cars to go bad, you get, uh, you know, the, the paint cracking or the blistering or the Bondo bubbles up in that area or down in that area, I guess I should say. And there's nothing going on uh, on the rear quarter of the passenger side of the car and uh, in front of or behind the uh, rear wheel. Once again, your Plymouth logo on the passenger side rear quarter is the same as the driver's side. It's not peeling off, it's not cracked up, it's not faded, it's in good condition. Your vinyl top, in nice shape, no uh, blistering, bubbling, cracking issues, uh, nice up top here. Nothing funky going on behind the drip rails. Drip rails are in nice shape on the car. There's a tiny dent right there on the uh, passenger side. Right there, there's a tiny dent in the drip rail. Uh, once again, the glass clarity on the uh, passenger side. Uh, glass clarity throughout the entire car is real good. Your vent window glass, your uh, driver door glass, your rear quarter glass, all in nice shape, nice and clear. Chrome on the mirror. Uh, the mirror's not all uh, patinaed or uh, rusted. Chrome's in nice shape on the mirror on the passenger side and the driver's side. Uh, your Roadrunner dust trail all the way down the side of the passenger side of the car uh, and the driver's side, both in real good shape. Let's take a look in the passenger side of the vehicle real fast. <clears throat> so door panel's the same as it was on the driver's side, you know, nice paint up top. Door panel in the center is vinyl, of course, and it's not all warped or faded or, you know, sticking out, protruding from the door itself. The uh, armrest, once again, in nice condition. Roadrunner floor mat, brand new. Courtesy lights in the center console come on when you open up the passenger door. Uh, passenger side seat condition, same as the driver's, in nice condition. Doesn't look like there's any rips or tears or anything like that. Automatic in the floor, obviously, center console car. Once again, door fitment to the rear quarter, to the lower rocker. Uh, the door's not sticking out at the bottom. On the bottom of the door, there's no paint issues. Uh, you have your Pentastar on the uh, passenger side fender there, on the uh, that was like it was on the driver's side. No, no paint issues or blisters there. Uh, there is some, I don't know, some kind of weird crimps in the uh, molding there, on the uh, passenger side front fender. I'm not sure what it was. You know, we bought it that way. It's just how it is. There's a few, uh, I guess, crimps, nicks, something there going on. Uh, but no, uh, no pain issues to speak of on the uh, front fender on the passenger side down low. It looks like there is a little like brush touch there on the top of the fender on the passenger side. Yeah. 
And I guess that is about it for our walk around presentation. So it is a nice driver quality 1970 uh, Plymouth Roadrunner that's going to be offered at a uh, really good price point here at Hankster's Hot Rods. Numbers matching 383, power steering, uh, no power brakes, um, four wheel drum, center console, automatic, uh, no build sheet by the way, for those of you that might ask that question, but it does have a fender tag, so that's cool. Nice car. We're going to take it outside and we'll throw it up in the air and we'll check out the undercarriage and shortly after that we'll do a little test drive in our Roadrunner to show you how the car runs out. Before we do that, I want to tell you that everything we are doing in this video presentation you can do yourself when you visit our showroom. We have an awesome facility here in Daytona, 25,000 square feet which houses anywhere from 60 to 70 cars, all of which we own and are available for sale. You're more than welcome to come and visit us and uh, make an appointment. We'll pull whatever vehicle you might be interested in outside for you and check it out real good in natural uh, light out there. We get plenty of sunshine here in Florida, so you'll be able to look it over real good out there in that bright uh, Florida sunshine. We'll put it in the air for you if you'd like us to. You can check out the bottom of the motor, the bottom of the transmission, the suspension components, your tire condition, all of your uh, you know, floor pans, uh, exhaust, Headers if equipped. We'll let you drive the car. You can see how the car stops, how it steers, how it performs, how it, uh, you know, when you start it, how it cranks, idles, uh, the response out of the uh, throttle when you uh, step on it. This way, when the car shows up wherever you might be located at in the United States or in the world, there are no surprises because you were here and you went over the car for yourself. We do a lot of sight unseen business, uh, and we've been doing so for over 20 years. However, we are in the market of selling 30, 40, 50 year old vehicles. They are not new. They have their flaws, their weaknesses, their deficiencies, some of which we try to disclose in these video presentations. Um, but we're not going to be able to cover the entire car in a 20 to 25 minute video presentation. It's just not possible. But when you're here, you can spend an hour, hour and a half, two hours looking over the car if you'd like to. You can go over every square inch of the car to make sure that it is exactly the car for you. And that is what we encourage you guys to do. Let's take this uh, 70 Roadrunner around the building. We'll throw it up in the air and check out the undercarriage. And then after that, we will do a short little test drive on the car to show you how it runs out. Underneath our 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner numbers matching 383 car, uh, you have drum brakes up front. Uh, the oil pan looks good. Driver's side. Passenger side. Got a little mini starter tucked up there inside the headers. Um, we will have a photograph of the numbers matching portion of the block um, on our website, as well as the uh, date code and casting number on the side of the block. You can't really see it with the headers and with the lighting, uh, so we will provide photos of that. Transmission pan gasket looks good. No leaks. Headers look good, no pinholes, no rust holes. Frame rails up front here look good where our lift uh, is suspending the car in the air. Cross member supporting up the tranny has no holes in it that are not supposed to be there. Floor pans appear to be all one solid piece from the uh, very front of the vehicle here where I'm standing by the driver's side floor pan and then all the way to the rear. And then the passenger side is the same way. <clears throat> Coming off those headers, you have dual uh, pipes going back to Flowmaster mufflers that we'll show you here momentarily. Frame rails on the car in the rear, it's the same deal. Uh, the lift is uh, suspending the car in the air by the uh, front and rear frame rails and both look good on this 70 Roadrunner. Drum brakes in the rear as well. Um, so when you're dealing with a classic car and you're looking at tires, the uh, two things you want to look at is number one, you know what's the condition of uh, the tread in between, you know, in between the treads. So this one's not all dry rotted and cracked. And then of course your wear bars are way down there. So there's plenty of life left on these raised white letter BFGs. 
Uh, trunk pan in the car looks fantastic. Passenger side, frame rail looks good. Big gas tank to power this 383. Take a look at the uh, trunk pan on the uh, driver's side here. That looks good as well. Drop downs on the rear quarters look good. There's no uh, packed with all kinds of body filler up there. It looks, looks good. Chrome tips like you saw in the showroom. Uh, chrome on the rear bumper of the Roadrunner in nice, real nice condition. Nice car. We're going to take it uh, outside. We'll set it down on the ground. We'll take it on a little test drive. But before we do that, let's discuss our payment options. If you're a cash buyer, we accept cashier's check from your bank. Uh, but more commonly, we are getting bank wire transfers. Not too many people are really writing checks anymore. Uh, everything's done electronically. Um, when you do a bank wire, if it's done early enough in the day, typically the uh, Funds are there the same day, and then when we're paid, we can start processing your vehicle for shipment that much sooner. If you're financing the collector car lenders we work with, we'll do five to 15 year loans on these classic cars. 10% down of your purchase price is gonna be the minimum requirement. So if you're talking about a $50,000 car, you're talking about five grand down. The rest they're gonna lend you on that five, eight, 10, 15 year term. Terms from the lenders depend on credit score, debt to income ratio, time on the job, things of that nature. If you want to put down more than 10%, you can, but they require a minimum of 10%. No prepayment penalty on the loan, so if you take it out for eight years and you pay it off in three, they aren't going to penalize you for doing so. Once the vehicle is funded, we put the car through a pre-delivery inspection. We check lug nut torque, tire pressure, uh, check the wipers, reverse lights, air if equipped, you know, things like that. They're old cars. Anything can stop working. Anything can start leaking. Anything can fail at any given moment. Therefore, we put the vehicle through one last shakedown prior to it leaving our facility and heading your direction. Once the vehicle is through inspection, it goes through detail. And then if we are handling the shipping, a carrier is dispatched. Typically, we have a truck here within 48 hours. It does take a little longer sometimes if you're in a more difficult destination or if a holiday falls in there. It may take three, four, five business days. But we know you're excited to get your new ride. We're excited we have you as a customer. So we will get you your car as quickly and as safely as we possibly can. Let's set our 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner down on the ground. Numbers matching 383. And take it on a test drive to show you how the car runs out. Inside our 1970 383 numbers matching Roadrunner. Beep, beep, horn. <laughs> Driver's side turn. Passenger side turn. We got a tick-tock tack. The uh, tick-tock was never working. The tack was, and now for some reason it's not. So we'll have to have that looked at. 90,264 is the mileage on the odometer. Title reads exempt, true miles unknown. Fuel gauge is working. Temp gauge is working. Oil pressure gauge to factory one does not work. It's down below here on an aftermarket. Alternator gauge works. Radio does not work. Wipers. And then they park back where they should when you shut them off. Um, center console looks to be in pretty decent condition. Dash pad doesn't appear to be cracked or ripped anywhere. We're idling nicely. We'll keep an eye on the uh, ta or on the temperature gauge throughout our test drive. Let's go drive a roadrunner and see how it runs out. Well, our roadrunner has a nice smooth ride to it. Uh, no engine vibration whatsoever. No uh, tranny vibration. No tire vibration. Car's tracking nice and straight. Speedo does work. It's nice and steady. It's not bouncing all over the place. Car tracks nicely when you let go of the wheel. Three eighty three's got some good power to it. The uh, response in the uh, throttle is really good on the car. 
No front end shimmies, no rattles in the car. We'll uh, test our drum brakes here when we come up to the traffic light. The people in front of us are going a little slow here. The car has a nice sound to it as well when you're running, you know, when you're either at idle or when you're stepping on it. It has a little bit of a rumble in the exhaust system and it sounds, it's got a nice sound to it, nice muscle car sound. Our temp's good, we're about 180-ish, you know, pretty hot in Daytona today. Brake stopped the car good. That's 70. Tranny shifts nice. I don't know if you could hear the transmission in the uh, video, but it shifts really nice. Now I got this truck pulling out. <laughs> he was coming. Let's see what lane he's going to choose here. Okay, he's choosing that one. Okay, so we're at 60 right now. And uh, there's no kind of front end shimmy tire vibration whatsoever. I'm in that lane, dude. <laughs> Guy, guys directing traffic out there, they're setting up cones. The uh, car rides real nice. Our temp's good. Uh, real nice ride to it on the uh, radials. Uh, the uh, front end has no shimmy at 65, you know, 60 miles an hour. Um, Response in the engine's good. You know, when you command it to, to go, it does. By the way, the, uh, you know, the car's got drum brakes, okay, but you don't have to, like, apply excessive force. A uh, car does a really nice job stopping. catching up traffic every road we take but uh, again 50 miles an hour real nice smooth ride no pull to the left or the right 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner numbers matching 383 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach Hankster's.com is our website that's where you can find all the photos of this car along with this video presentation you're watching right now let's get around this bus at full retail price, our 70 Roadrunner includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a powertrain warranty. That warranty is good at any ASC certified facility in the United States. It covers the engine, the transmission, and the rear end. It does not cover brakes, batteries, starters, alternators, oil leaks, tranny leaks. All that stuff is on you. Uh, it just covers your major mechanical breakdowns. It is good at any ASC certified facility, which means, you know, pretty much any uh, independent or franchise facility along with dealerships if you choose to go there. But you don't have to take it to a muscle car restoration center. You don't have to bring it to Florida or to Hankster's Hot Rods. You can probably take it to that same person that's working on your daily driver. Is the price of the car negotiable? It is, within reason, of course. If we negotiate the price of the car, the warranty comes off. The warranty is good at full retail price only. Also, the shipping comes off. At full retail price, we arrange the pickup, we arrange the delivery, we pay the driver, we make sure the driver's properly licensed and bonded and insured to carry your car. At a negotiated cost, you take care of all that legwork yourself. Maybe you're a collector, you have your own opener and closed carrier. You want to come uh, trailer this Roadrunner home, you can do that. And of course, if you're local to us here in the Sunshine State, Central Florida, and you want to drive this Roadrunner home, you can do that as well. Hankster's Hot Rods is located in Central Florida, Daytona Beach. And once again, our website is hanksters.com. Check us out. We'd love to earn your business.